It's John with Ride Upstate, and today I wanted to share my rideshare story with you. What do I mean by my rideshare story? I want to talk about why I started ridesharing and how that's changed my my life today. So ridesharing was not available in my market till about 2017. It took a lot of effort to get it into upstate New York. At the time I was driving a 2000 Civic. It was just a piece of garbage and nobody would have wanted to ride in that thing and I didn't want to give people rides in it. Well fast forward to about a year and a half later and I was able to purchase a vehicle that I felt um, was good enough to give people rides in. And I'd always been interested in ride sharing. I'd been watching ride share channels on YouTube and hearing about how people enjoyed ride sharing, how they were making money from ride sharing, how they were making extra money from ride sharing. And for me, the interest was not doing this full time, but just using this as a side hustle to make a little extra money, a little extra spending money. And that's what it's been for me so far. Now, I started in May of this year, and so far, um, you know, I haven't done a lot of rides. I've done about 200 rides on Uber, and I've done about 25 rides on Lyft, and I think I've done like 10 deliveries on DoorDash or something like that. So I don't have a lot of experience. So when you watch this channel, you're going to watch me grow as a part-time driver in a small market. One of the reasons that I like doing this, one of the reasons that I like doing rideshare is it gives me something, a way to earn a little money on my commute. I make all my gas money back. Um, I don't drive a lot of extra miles because of the times that I choose to drive. Now that's a challenge sometimes because those aren't always the busiest times and I'm not always going to be making the most money at those times. But like I said, with me, it's how many extra miles, how many extra minutes am I driving? And to be honest, it's not a lot. Um, for a week, I might drive five extra hours than I normally would if I were uh, just commuting back and forth to work. So that's not a lot. There's a lot of drivers that are struggling because they're trying to apply the tips and tricks that they see on YouTube from people in larger markets. And you can't always use those tips and tricks. Some of them work. Most of them have to be tweaked a little bit. And there's a small number that just are not going to work for you. So with that being said, that's my ride sharing story. Thanks for watching this. And uh, I'll talk to you next time.